fix the power outage immediately or your heads will be severed from your bodies, bastards. We almost lost the last episode because of the power outage. Fix it. Goodbye. The fools. The last episode here on the Great Grot to Orlock Network was, uh, was, uh, lost. Forever, almost lost forever, but, uh, I managed to recover it with my amazing computing skills. Um, uh, yeah. And, uh, welcome back to Gratu After Dark. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a real nil biter. Uh, when we last left off, we were talking about Buster Brown comic books. Now, Buster Brown was a sponsor of Smiling Ed McConnell's hit television program with Froggy the Gremlin here. And it was, uh, I was uh, saying that you gotta watch old Howdy Doody shows and Froggy the Gremlin because they're great. They're great. You mean like, oh, they're black and white. I can't watch black and white. Well, then you're a fool. You're a swine. Black and white. Nothing wrong with black and white. Okay, so. Amazing. And the fact that it's been colored in gives it character. There's a kid somewhere in 1954, 55 that took crayons and colored that. Um, that kid now is probably in the early 70s. Perhaps it was Donald Trump. Or it could have been Joe Biden as a young chap that colored in this. We'll never know, but this comic has character, more so than a 9.8 pristine copy that you fools seem to prize. But this is a key issue, and you should spec on it, because I think uh, Kevin Feige, Feige, whatever his name is, said that he's going to absorb Froggy the Gremlin into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, <clears throat> and uh, is going to become uh, one of the the new Avengers, yes. So that comic, valuable. Uh, seek it out. This was a giveaway comic from Striplings, which is a department store in Fort Worth, Texas. Yes, indeed. It's always Christmas here on the Gratu Orloff Network. And it feels like Christmas when I've got an issue of candy in my hands without a cover. So let's get this sleeve, shall we? <laughs> Damn it. Candy, candy, candy. No relation to the Terry Southern novel. Bunny. This is one of the great, this will be on my comic wall when I have a comic wall, one of the greatest covers of all time. Bunny, you know, she's the queen of the in crowd and she's hip mod and boss. If you're hip mod and boss, man, there's a, wow, pretty groovy. All the cool girls had those on their walls. Calvin and the Colonel. Calvin and the Colonel. Captain America. All right. great memories of Kmart, but when it was around, I kind of thought, Ugh, what a horrible place, but now I miss Kmart, and Woolco, and Woolworths, and um, well, there's a place called Grant's, Captain Action,
Captain Action is before Captain America. Oh, um, be careful with this. This is not real. You say, but it says 12 cents and everything. There's nothing on here to indicate it's a reprint. If it's sealed in a bag, you, you might get fooled. Um, but it, it, the back cover is like a, a modern ad for Stridex. I mean, modern as of uh, 20 years ago. Um, I don't remember when these were done, but in J.C. Penny sold a bunch of Marvel reprints through their catalog. Some of them I have on the spinner rack back there because they look good and like that. Uh, Oh, that Fantastic Four up there on the top. I have the original and then one of these boxes, but that's a reprint. They look just like the originals, and uh, um, I don't know what... They, they just sold a box of comic reprints, and, and the covers look like the originals. So uh, just be aware of that. J.C. Penny reprints. This is not a reprint, though. This is for real, and this is a great cover. They've even, you know, they sell like uh, little posters of this at a, uh, what do you call the Hobby Lobby kind of places, you know? So this is a one of the great Jack Kirby covers, and I'm lucky to have that. I've had that for years, so I've got to find all that in here. Here's the... First Falcon 117. You need a spec on this, man, because, you know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What, what, when did the hobby become all these people just specking and, and using apps on their phone to figure out what the key issues are? No, I don't know, man. Captain America 130. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Captain America 130. <sighs> and, uh, I assume this is 131 because someone wrote 131 at the top. Bucky Reborn is the new title of this comic book. Yeah, someone took, uh, some, uh, newsstand dealer, uh, retailer took the title off to, uh, get credit for an unsold comic. And then unscrupulous retailers would then sell the coverless comics for a little bit less, but then they were making, you know, they were uh, adding to their profits. 133. I got a bunch of Captain America's I got a file. Let me pull some, I gotta pull some books out of this box to fit these books in. So we're pulling out some Doom Patrol. Let's put these in this other box for safety. Ay, ay, ay. Why, I gotta. Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Conquest of Mexico. Okay, alright. At some point, I will get some new bags and boards, but that may not be until next Friday. And then I got to send uh, some money off to Captain Strange Life for the two issues of Wilbur, and I think he's going to put in two issues of Timmy the Timid Ghost, which is a. Uh, um, I'm really looking forward to that. I just money is really tight, so I need to. Um, Wait till I get paid to do that. Captain America 133. Because if I run out of money, <laughs> and we don't have food, and I've been buying comics, I will get into a lot of trouble. Like murder. Then there'll be no more Gratu Arloff shows. <laughs> 133. Yeah, Apparently Biden has a little uh, thing in his ear that tells him what to do. You know, they, some voice in his ear tells him what to do. And so he's used to whatever they say into his ear, 
he says out loud. So he is leaving at the inauguration, and there were the Marines there at the, at the door, the exit. So they, you hear him say, salute the Marines. And then he just walks. <laughs> they were telling him, hey, salute the Marines when you leave. And instead he just says, salute the Marines. He repeats it and then doesn't do it. Whew, that makes you feel confident, doesn't it? Captain Marvel, April 66. This Captain Marvel. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And he's fighting Batman. Oh, no, it's not Batman. It's the Bat. Oh, okay. Now, oh, look, here's the Bat, but apparently his costume must have been too close to the real Batman, so they've altered it a little bit in this one. Probably they got a call from a lawyer, I'm betting. Then Captain Marvel presents the Terrible Five. I've got all the shitty comics here. All the comics that nobody wanted in the 80s, I, I snapped them up because I thought they were cool and weird. I, I've always liked the weird and the fucked up, and so I've been <sighs> buying them for a long time. Challenges of the Unknown. Challengers, Casper, Captain Marvel, Captain America, Captain, Captain, Captain Savage, Captain America, Captain America, Captain Marvel. And then we've got Captain's, I'm sorry, Marvel's Captain Marvel. And then later, there was a Ms. Marvel. Then she became Captain Marvel. And I don't know what happened to the original Marvel. He probably got killed off, whatever. And then, uh, now there's a new Ms. Marvel that I think is Middle Eastern? I don't know, and a teenager. So now there's a new Ms. Ms. Marvel's been several people, and Captain Marvel's been a bunch of people, including a character at Fawcett, the Big Red Cheese, who's really the real Captain Marvel. You know, the guy that says Shazam. And it's been that other character I just showed you that splits his body. Everybody's uh, used this name. Okay. Uh, look, Barry Smith and Herb Trimp. Or is it Trimpy? I don't know. Trimp. Going all Steranko on us. Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel. I got it's getting too tight. I gotta pull out some more Doom Patrol to fit these comics. Please listen to Silver Age Dave when he warns you to put in styrofoam blocks or something so that you do not run out of room in your boxes because then you just got to move some to the next box then, then that forces you to move some to the next box and some to the next box and if you got a big collection it turns into an insane Rubik's nightmare so or you could start a new box in the middle and just gradually move some back to it and some forward to it which is what I was kind of doing there in the M's around Marvel Tales. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Okay, so it looks like I've got doubles of this Captain Savage and his Leatherneck Raiders. I've got doubles of number three, but wouldn't it have been better if I had like number two and number three instead of having two of number three? And then, what the hell? What the? What the? Am I seeing things? Have I gone mad? Here's uh, Captain Savage number seven. Captain Savage number 18. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you the covers. I realize that. Uh, Captain Venture. But I haven't been losing subscribers in droves lately. I think everything's stabilized at 164. I'm not gaining subscribers and I'm not losing them. Before, 
I would mention Donald Trump, but I'd lose four or five subscribers. Usually, I think we will be done as we've uh, weeded out the pinkos and the commies, and we have a stable group of people that understand my sense of humor and uh, realize that I'm harmless. And uh, and uh, so uh, they're sticking with me, I guess. Really, some wonderful people. They're putting comments down below the videos and all that. It's okay. So I think I got box three. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah, the box three. BCW, the worst box in the history of mankind. They must be exterminated. BCW. Destroy all BCW boxes. That is the call. Okay. Well, hold on one moment. I had to, uh, Turn the box, the camera, so that you wouldn't see my incredibly fat stomach as I pick up box number one. I know it's box number one because it says box number one, which means it's going to probably start with action comics. What comics are before AC? Is there any? I can't remember. Oh, this is so old. It's an old box from the 80s. Look at this compared to BCW. I move it, look how it moves. Oh, that is so great. It moves and it's cushioned and it's sturdy. And I was thinking, maybe I should throw this old box away. I mean, look, it's, it's almost turned brown. It's not white like this pristine. Yeah, but look at, look at how, how strong it is. It's got one, two, three, four pieces of cardboard. I don't know if this is showing up on the, on, on the uh, damn camera but but this is the way it's supposed to be they knew how to build boxes back in the old days we need to build them back better build back better oh boy because these bcw boxes are a danger to our democracy the old boxes build them back better like bold but come on come on man Got a, we're in Looneyville, man. What have you guys done, all of you, you uh, people, and your boxes hidden below the tables? What have you done to us? Oh, here's some action comics. No, you're not supposed to mention those boxes below the tables, guys. No, not at all. Okay. Does this mean I'm almost done with my mission in the Sold Rage room? Almost. Action comics. 359. How about that? Um, my earliest action comic appears to be 283. See the fantastic ways red kryptonite affects Superman and Supergirl. And then I have, oh, what a great cover here. Yeah, it looks like they're still planning to impeach Trump, the Senate, because they, they don't want him to be able to run in 2024. Because he'd be the same age then that, that Biden was when he ran this time. They want to... They don't realize what's going to happen. If they impeach him, that's going to flip people out. But, oh, well, let's see. People are going to lose their shit. 352. Oh, I've got two 352s. That sounds like the Dr. Pepper theme. No, the Pepsi theme. Say Pepsi, please. 
same Pepsi for those who think young. Yeah. Pepsi must have stolen it from the sun. For those who think young, Pepsi has always tried to convince you that they're the drink for the now generation, for the young the young ones, the the hip new generation. You know, you're part of the Pepsi generation. You're young, you're hip. Coca-Cola, that's for those old fogies. That's always been their um, their deal. Ah, yes, adventure. Now yeah, we got a few more comics we got to sleep. With. Now I already went through these adventure comics uh, last summer. If you go back to an episode, I don't know if I showed them very well, but let's get this. Boy, this thing's been eaten by Democrats at the top. And three, three. There's nothing better than the Legion of Superheroes. I mean, um, you know, Marvel was was the top, right, in the 60s. But DC, the, the, the Legion of Superheroes, Doom Patrol, and uh, um, those were, were on Sugar and Spike and, you know, Bob Hope. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, any of the... The cool, uh, you know, uh, bizarro stuff, but 346. Uh oh. I, 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 oh, shit. You're not hearing anything. I guess you're not hearing anything. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You hear nothing. I guarantee you, you hear nothing. You hear nothing. You hear nothing. You hear nothing. Nothing is being heard by the by you. You hear nothing. 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 I tell you. Nothing. Nothing. Ah shit! Fuck this. No. Don't do this to me. Okay. I had to turn the music down. <sighs> that was terrible. What a night. A Beach Boys song started to play on Gratu Radio, and I was aware that shit that might cause uh, YouTube to make my video not uh, playable because I'm sure that someone has some copyright on uh, the Beach Boys. Uh, gotta be more careful with my background music discs. I was supposed to have her handy to uh, scream over the copywritten music, but I just didn't have her handy enough. Who would have thought I would foolishly put a Beach Boys song on it? I just did it because I, I like to listen to it. Well, but now that I'm recording and putting stuff up into the ethereal internet... Uh, to make sure that music is uh, not going to cause uh, horrifying repercussions. This is also a reprint um, from J.C. Penney, so you got to be aware of that. It's like uh, issue 13. If you just bought, just come back two months later and get that issue, you might be amazing. Adult fantasy might be a little better off, but oh well. <laughs> Amazing adult fantasy. Amazing adventures. Amazing adventures. Amazing adult fantasy. My earliest Spider-Man is 22. <laughs> How about that? How about that? How about that? And then I've got this uh, 32. I've got to work on my Spider-Man collection. Seriously. And I've got 55. I mean, it's really a pathetic collection. Honestly. 57. Um, i got 59. <laughs> Ooh, i got 62 with that wonderful cover. 66, got a lot of work to do, don't I? 68. Yeah, 
82. Eighty six Black Widow cover. I guess that movie will come out. Uh, will it still come out if the flu's still going around in uh, May? I don't know. Maybe they'll put it off to the next year. Eighty seven. Eighty eight. Ninety four. 96. Ooh, this is the big issue where the Comics Code Authority stamp's not on there because they dealt with uh, drug overdose, addiction, and death. Here he is punching the Hulk out. Okay, that's uh, special number three. Special six. These are just reprints. Special number eight. And this, that's all I've got as far as Silver Age. And then, you know, most of my spider mans are going to be Bronze Age because that's when I was actually buying them. Uh, these, uh, um, yeah, because uh, I uh, didn't really even discover Spider Man, how cool he is until like 1973 after I discovered Fantastic Four and um, I guess uh, I guess I'll file this with the Bronze Age because this is a um, eh, I think I'm gonna yeah that's you know the cool thing about these old boxes is they fit Golden Age uh, Golden Age uh, um, boards don't get stuck in them either. It's just uh, el, el, el asombroso asombroso hombre araña so asombroso means amazing so when uh, next time I go to a Mexican restaurant they say well, how's your food? I'll say asombroso 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 I gotta remember that asombroso Amazing. A friend of mine, I remember in the 80s, we were eating at Blossoms there on Cooper Street in Arlington, which is now called Gratuville. And then uh, um, my friend wanted some more, I, I don't know, some like Thousand Island dressing or something. So the waitress came by and said, I'll have some more of this fluid. <laughs> he called it fluid. I just thought that stuck in my mind. That's just funny. Calling things fluid, it makes you seem. Okay, so, let's, what am I doing? I don't even know what the fuck I'm frick, fuck, stop cursing. I gotta stop cursing or you'll never get monetized. Salty Cracker does it, but uh, I don't think he has commercials on his show. I don't see how he hasn't been banned completely. Do you think I'm still going to watch boy stuff like, oh, what was wrong with me? <clears throat> Let's see if the music's okay. And I can't even move in here, and my damn friend is coming tonight. My goddamn motherfucking friend is coming here tonight, and I've got to clean up. Maybe I should start that now, because I hate when he calls, and he's like, I'll be there in 30 minutes, then I have to, then I have to clean up. I ought to do it now. Because uh, I think I've just filed my last I don't even recognize that song A Light bulb on the floor Okay Okay What do I need to do here? Some boards It's hot up here, man it's hot up here. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this. Why do I need to stop having friends? It just creates problems. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Do 
just kidding. <laughs> just funning you. <sighs> oh, I think I see what I can do. Electricity is plugged into this camera device because then it tends to uh, fail, run out of electricity. What is going on with these bags? They're all getting mixed together. I've got to have more organization here on Gratu Orloff after dark. They used to sell these little signs at Lone Star Comics. They were the ones that they used in their stores. For a while he had a lot of stores all over North Texas and he may have even had one in Oklahoma. He went big time for a while and then went to the internet. Ah, oh, good. 1950s shopping music. Oh, wow, there is a bag of stuff. How cool. Here are the Golden Age bags. I knew they were there. They were hiding under the Santa Claus issue of Monster World. Oh, what a time for joy and rejoicing. But I still need to buy more Silver Age bags and more Silver Age boards. These are the Silver Age, gold, Golden Age boards. I put them here with them. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. And here is the Superior box from the old days, from the ancient days, the Halcyon days of yore, when comic boxes were not made by BCW. Take down the BCW, the BCW, world's worst shitty manufacturing products for comic books, everybody thinks they're fucked up, BCW stands for Bastard Communist Wussies. <laughs> Worse than Democrats. You probably are. They probably voted for Biden there at the BCW factory. Those fools, the swine. <sighs> Don't know how to design a comic box. How hard is that? Just copy the design of the old ones. For crying out loud. What's in this box? How dare you? I don't know. The music's already putting me back into a better mood. I got a bunch of fucked up comics here. There's an Iron Man without a... Bernie, Bernie Sanders. No, I meant Buddy Saunders caused this. I bought all his Wounded Wonders packs. And uh, now I've got all these wounded comics that I'm embarrassed to own. Oh, let's take a look at this, shall we? Well, it's Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse number something. Schwinn Continental Bike. That song's probably copy. Oh, that's going to probably get me. Uh, there's a Whitman sampler. No, I'm sorry, a Whitman variation of Justice League of America with a very angry Black Lightning saying, Fuck you, I quit. You're a motherfucker, Santa. I mean... It's called Santa. How do I get Santa Claus and Superman mixed up? What is wrong with my mind? <clears throat> I gotta turn this goddamn shit. 
Where is my fucking magic gremlin? Keep going. Keep going so they can't hear Telstar. Someone's probably got some copyright on Telstar somewhere. Magic gremlin. Just keep going. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Downstairs I'm recording a bunch of sounds of... Uh, torture chambers to play in the background of upcoming episodes of the Gratu Orlok show so that I don't have any more of these disasters. Oh my gosh, I gotta clear up all this stuff. Oh, so much work. Now I'm starving for dinner. This is another, yeah, another inferior box. It doesn't say BCW on it, but why do they have this here? Why, why do they do it this way now? What is the, what is the purpose? Why are they made in such an inferior way? Uh, uh, the world may never know. Every Friday, it's the same nightmare, having to clean up. <sighs> Childhood copy of Dennis the Menace, number 114. That's an old one. Martian hop. Merry Christmas! Can't believe I bought that. But if I didn't buy it, future generations will never believe that it ever actually existed, so I figured I had to do it to chronicle history. That was my rationale. Joe Biden says we have to wear these masks for the first hundred days of his presidency, even when we're driving, to uh, so the other people will not catch our. I had a brilliant idea. Uh, you can make a million dollars with this. I'll let you have this idea. People send you a, a highly detailed uh, photograph of their face, right? So what you do is you print a face diaper for them, you know, but you print the bottom. Of the photograph, you cut the bottom part of the foot of their face in, and print it on the the face diaper on the COVID mask, right? 
so they can walk around and people can actually know what the bottom part of their face looks like. And then they have a complete face again. I had this idea, and I will allow you to take this idea from me. Um, because, and then have a, and make sure there's, say, make sure you send in a photo of you smiling, so that everyone will think you're smiling, even if you're not. You just, you know, I still, you know, I'm not very, I'm not a very social person. I'm not very good in public. I'm awkward. I'm, I'm, I'm very, you know, I, I don't just have Aspergers. I have cheeseburgers. Uh, I have asshole burgers. I am an asshole and I've got, I don't, I don't know that I have ass burgers. They, they say that doesn't even really exist now, but when I looked in, and saw, there was a survey of the characteristics of people with ass burgers and I had almost all of them, you know. But I think anyone that collects comics or, or records has a lot of those. Um, the thing about it, is I'll go in a store and I'll attempt to smile at the clerk and they realize they can't, they can't even see that I'm smiling. Well, why am I even trying anymore? You know, why, why, why trim the beard, make it surely, who gives, the never, no one's ever going to see that. It's just so, it's just so ridiculous. I like cat this bit I can What is wrong with 2020 and 2021 making cats that, that twerk to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, shit. <laughs> it never ends. Every Friday, my joy, all of my joy is gone. I have to clean up. God damn. Every time I try to take these glasses off, I, I, every time, every time I tell you. Okay. Unplug this. I gotta plug it back in or I'll lose my electricity. Okay. So. Where do I put the stem? Oh, oh gosh. Look at this flyer. Uh, Dick Sprang. Is appearing in Oklahoma. Uh, between Little Caesars and Radio Shack. In the Boulevard Village Shopping Center. What year? I don't know long time ago, when King Arthur was still 